Hello everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a weekly reading for any placement in Libra. Um, this is going to be for around the week of October 16th to the 22nd. These are general, not personal, so use your discretion. Please check out the description box for the disclaimer. You have free will final say. Your intuition knows best. Ooh, what do we have? Pursue your quest, goose. Pursue your quest. And this could also have to do with um, teamwork or just having some sort of clear plan in pursuing your in pursuing your quest here. This could be something from the past as well, something you've wanted to do since childhood, perhaps. Let's see what else we get. That's just for the greatest, highest good of Libra. Happy birthday, Libras. We have Sun and Scorpio, and actually we're going to be moving in to, to Scorpio season just after this week. This is about passion, number eight. So this is a passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. Ooh, all right. The mystery of the Scorpio energy. Let's see what else we have. I'd like to get some Oracle messages before the tarot. And you have card 39, the time of guilt and shame ends now. Forgive yourself and begin to love yourself just as you are, Libra. Okay. Now, let's jump right into tarot. Messages for the greatest, highest good of the viewers. If you find this reading, you're meant to find it. There may be something here for you. And I do channel as well, so you... I do get messages from other realms and this realm as well. So they may seem random, but they could possibly be your messages or someone else's. So. All right. I'm hearing Herman. All right. So some of you may have liked that show, The Monsters, as well. I'm getting something about vehicle. Hmm. Okay, so um, is the chariot doesn't have to mean vehicle, but this time I actually heard the word vehicle with this. Now, with the chariot, the high priestess and the knight of swords, the chariot's Cancerian energy, high priestess is Pisces. Um, I also say Cancer because it does have to do with the moon. So sometimes I feel it's Cancerian energy as well. And then you have this knight of swords, one of the fastest moving, actually, I think it is the fastest moving night in the whole deck so that's air energy gemini libra aquarius so oh uh, i'm not sure where your moon sign is maybe you're watching because your moon sign is in libra but your moon sign could be playing into effect we are also you know right in the middle of this um eclipse season so maybe you're feeling things a little more intensely uh maybe that navigation's been a little tricky but your intuition could also be spot on on point right now okay um i'm hearing connie as well I just heard there's a mix up again, something about possibly a mix up. Now with the chariot, this is usually success, victory. Um, you could be focusing on your new direction here. So when we have pursuing your quest in a time of passion and um, forgiving yourself, then this is going to allow you to move on. Certainly listening to your intuition and um, trying to connect if you can in maybe some new ways of connecting. Maybe some of you uh, meditate and then journal or something. I'm getting something about that as well. Um, there's also with the Knight of Swords energy, this is interesting because normally the Knight of Swords is very fast and furious, right? Well, right now it's sitting still in this deck. It's a very, um, it's a Knight who seems to be very contemplative at this time. So maybe you are at a place where you're, you're thinking it over a little more and you're tapping more into your di um, divine wisdom yourself. Oh, uh, there's a song coming in right now. Um, it's maybe the eighties or something. It's like, we don't need another hero. That's one of the lyrics. So I'm not going to attempt to sing today. It doesn't usually go that well. So, but there's something about we don't need another hero. We don't need another. I'm not hearing the rest of it. So, um, 
that that could maybe that's a song you like or the artist or that time period means something but it's coming in um i'm hearing about some hutchins hutchinson even and wilkins i'm getting something about i just heard bradley um and also picking up on fire energy here something like a personality that's sort of larger than life um it's funny because this scorpio card while scorpio is water and an element um this is a very uh leo kind of card here with the passion and the fire um of the sun here so i would say uh there could definitely be an influence of some fire energy but let's see what else we have here um this will make more sense as we go on. They usually, I mean, they always do. These cards really are great at speaking to each other. All the decks I use are in that description box. Temperance. Yeah, having to have that patience. Um, Sagittarius energy too. We were just talking about fire energy. And then you have the page of pentacles. Again, pretty, pretty contemplative energy here. So... What does this mean? Okay, Seven of Swords. You may be um, right on the cusp of making some sort of move, some sort of transition here. This could be in any area of your life. But there's something here about that determination, that will to succeed. Almost like time's up, now we're going to move. Like you know you have to make a selection possibly. So because the pages are messengers too. So you may actually get some sort of solid offer. It could come from your own divine wisdom. All right. And again, it could, it could be some sort of um, opportunity that's going to really change your material realm for you. Like it's going to, it could affect um, those sort of physical needs um, and, and also monetary possibly. It could also help you free up some time um somebody is actually an actual genius so i'm not sure if that's you or your a relative or something but i'm getting somebody's an actual genius perhaps that person's going to have some something to do with this um you're going to maybe they're offering you something even someone very high high intelligence here offering you something now intelligence there are many multiple intelligences so um it doesn't have to be like a book smart kind of uh genius right book smart's not actually genius um so it, you know people who are geniuses can be book smart absolutely but then people who are book smart can also not be geniuses so it's all about um you know just multiple types of, of genius here so there could be something here uh, maybe it's someone who's very artistic or musical stepping in um it could actually be you are a genius in some area that you're thinking about going into maybe that you haven't yet and maybe people have told you like you're the best of the best at what this is uh you're you're the one who's like setting trends you know um something about a very creative imagination here um and like what do you, it's like well what do we do with it let's come up with a plan so i'm getting something about that that's one message for some people and then we have that king of cups very uh, dreamy sort of energy here, but the King of Cups, you know, has that wisdom, that emotional uh, intelligence, so to speak. So um, this is someone who uh, is very stable. It's a very stable energy. I'm seeing a lot of stability here, actually, and something about making sure that you are maintaining your balance throughout this upcoming week. Be for balance, I'm just hearing right now. I just heard Becca and bronco there's something here about leadership and being assertive uh that that's coming through right now and it's something about that communication intelligent communication all right and and there's this uh king of cups here this could be water energy pisces cancer scorpio uh we have sorry we have the earth sign here too with page of pentacles and then we have uh, so earth energy and then we have a more um swords uh air energy so you know, you basically, you have every sign here. You actually do, in fact, have every sign. You have a little bit of fire, a little bit of water. Well, you know, with the Sagittarius here and then the, the, the King of Cups and the Chariot and you've got the High Priestess, a lot of water. So this could be some sort of very uh, close to your heart decision, uh, emotional sort of decision, but you're having to use multiple intelligences, okay? Multiple intelligences to um, 
to guide you or make the right decision. This could actually just come from within you. Let me see what else we have. The Fool card. Yeah, I feel like this is sort of like you are you are the one who this is coming from with the High Priestess and the Fool. Certainly things feel like they're getting more into order for you this week. Uh, this is something too, uh, you know, with the fool card, sometimes people say it's Aries energy. I say it's everybody because, you know, we all have that, that access to that energy. But um, this is, again, that dreamer that this is having that optimism and the hope here. All right. Knowing it's not going to be easy because you've been through it. When you've got to the fool again, you're, you've been through it, right? You've been through all the, the whole story of the tarot and you're back at the, at, at the beginning here, but it's not the same beginning, right? We never can fully start totally over. We always have what's happened, you know, um, teach us along the way. So this is that new wisdom. I feel as though maybe this is your third try at something, second or third try. Uh, and it's been, there maybe have been obstacles, but let's see about this obstacle. Look at that. This, this obstacle is removed. The path is clear. Your path is clear now. If there's something that you're really wanting to pursue, the path is certainly clear for you now. It's sunny. This is a sunny start, all right? Um, it may not be sunny outside wherever you live right now, but it's certainly sunny within and, and around you. You're being infused with this new kind of, uh, this, this very vital uh, energy. It's going to restore your vitality here. This could be Leo um, energy as well. Um, I have one slight caution. There could be a person or a group of people just watch out for getting tricked make sure you don't get tricked um especially emotionally manipulated so um i don't know if someone could come back around you know eclipse season and lots of stuff going on uh astrology wise but um this isn't this is your sunny time this is your sun right now this is this is uh your light shining and people are going to be attracted to that libra as you, as I'm sure you're aware of, there's a lot of sunshine here. You know, there could have been uh, some conflict with someone. Uh, it may come back up, but I don't feel, is this anything we need to really worry about? Oh, why is this, why are these cards all, oh, wow, look at that. Seven of Wands, um, we're not, I'm not taking all of these cards, but I will say the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords we saw. So this could be, you know, feeling like you really need to stand your ground here. Um, this could be something like, um, so wands energy, more fire than more air. I feel like someone could try to provoke you in some way. It's a possibility. But again, you remember, please, you do have all these major arcana cards and they're very positive as well. Um, they're very positive cards. You have one, two, three, four, five of them. And this temperance card is about you healing. Uh, remember, moderation is key. Uh, even how much you decide you have your energy you're going to give away, right? That seems to be something that you're going to want to um, sort of uh, keep a check on, you know, and make sure you're not over giving. Um, there's, so the seven of wands, um, that could be, you know, some sort of uh, like a stubborn energy, but this is uh, generally, I feel it's, just, it's something, it's something about like, having our, um, overcoming our challenges and really hanging in there, like some sort of, it's kind of, it can be a defensive energy. So you may have someone come in, um, a little bit on the, you're on the defensive possibly, but then you have that two of swords. Now the two of swords, um, you've are it's the decisions already been made. You know, the two of swords can often be a, a decision card, but again, I feel like this is just repeating to me. When I see the two of swords, I feel like that can usually be someone who's going within to make this the proper decision and how to how to communicate something. Or you could really be going deep and figuring out what something meant, you know, some sort of communication. Um, I'm hearing, and I wouldn't even say this expression, don't get over entangled in something that would stir that would steer you off path. Okay, so that's over entanglement is is possibility so make sure that we're steering clear of that and temperance you know is here to help support that as well as that even energy here of the king of cups and that temperance card um so this is really good libra this is you know and you know such as life we're always going to have some sort of um obstacles and things like that but i'm feeling this right here i mean this is this is where it is it started out here and this is where it is and it's telling you at the very beginning to pursue your quest even if it's something you put away a long time ago that you want to pick up again it's looking like now is the 
the time to do it. And if somebody tries to make you feel guilty or ashamed or something, you just we're going to need to let that go because that's that's um that's only going to hinder um it's only going to cause conflict right and chaos so okay and you have the empress card so the empress card make sure there's nothing blocking your flow here and your creativity um so again maybe being really mindful particularly this week about how because this is the libra card and it is in reverse right now and um generally i mean you know upright the empress is it can also be Taurus energy too, but generally it's, you know, this is someone who's a creator. It's the ultimate divine feminine here. Um, this is someone who is very in touch with nature, with beauty. And this person, this particular empress is sort of looking up, you know, so it's, it's making me think um, that there is a, again, there's a bright side to this. If you are feeling as though um, supplies are limited or energy or time or money is limited, there's something here about um, with this chariot about some sort of victory coming through and this I'm hearing finances. It could involve finances. I mean, a lot of things are then connected back to money um, when these readings sometimes. So um, it's okay to be hopeful. And it's, it's also realize that your imagination, your intelligence, and your creativity has no limits. Okay. That's how we get this back in the upright. You, it has no limits. Um, you have no limits. All right. Um, but it is important to set limits with others. I'm going to get um, a card here to clarify a little of this. What else do we need to know about this situation here? This person, is this person going to, is this like a love thing person coming back or is business love? I don't know what this is. Perfect timing. Okay. So this is perfect. Yeah. Okay. You have the temperance and you have perfect timing and they so remind me of each other. So this is again, reiterating, I'm asking about some sort of, um, basically if someone's going to kind of get in the way and no, that's not going to happen because you have this perfect time and there's something here about divine timing and divine will. It's connecting to you, to your overall purpose. That's actually going to lead you in the right direction here. The situation will improve Libra. Okay. So if it hasn't already, you're going to see that. And it's the person here is like reaching for the sky, right? And look at this. You're ready. Whatever this is, Libra, you are ready because you know, I'm getting something about a circumference. Like you've gone all around you know, back again. Here we are with the full card at the start and we go all the way up to the sun there, one of the most positive cards in the deck. So if you have some doubts, uh, you're ready is what we're getting in this reading now. It's, it's, it is the divine timing. It is, if things haven't improved, they will improve. It's maybe possibly about taking that step. Remain positive too. Wow. Okay. So having that optimism of the fool, right? Okay. And some of you may be gifted flowers or you may be giving flowers, or there could be some sort of like new floral, something that you get, uh, clothing, um, you know, curtains, something, maybe shower curtain. I don't know, but there is something there. And then you have, it's up to you. You're being encouraged that this is all within you with the Empress here. And that Empress in reverse was sort of that doubt. I feel that creeps in, um, that kind of, you know, tries to, get us, you know, makes us second guess ourselves and things. And it happens to all of us, really. Let's get you a gemstone here. Obsidian, sharp and shadows. So be very direct in the communication here. And this is uh, cutting through any sort of uh, negativity and darkness. Okay. I'm also getting lies. Anybody trying to lie to you? It's like you're cutting. I feel as though you're cutting some people off, possibly. You're cutting off some idea. And actually, I'm getting to uh, something about hair. Maybe you've changed your hair or you're going to, but um, there is something here about hair. Um, so maybe you're a stylist. I don't know, but there's something about hair. Maybe you're thinking about it. You know, hair can also be seen as sort of antennae that connects us to the divine realm. It is on top of our crown after all. And so um, again, it's you being connected to the divine and going by that and not what others say on this earthly realm. Now, getting a love message here. What else do we have? Anything to do with any kind of love? Embrace what destiny has in store for you. My goodness, Libra, this couldn't be more clear at this point. <laughs> right, embrace, okay, embrace. You could be, again, you could be embracing something that you've long wanted to do. All right, maybe the time is right at this point. Let's see what else do we have for Libra. Check out the all signs reading I do each week too, if you'd like, where I read for all signs. To focus on the past is to lose the future. 
heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Wisdom. Now that could be that king of cups. I was getting a little bit of energy there. Maybe it doesn't have to be a water sign person, but it could be. Actually, I want to get you one of these first. Okay. Shuffle three times. Let me get it. I'm getting an S name like Sally, Shelley, Sandra, C, 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 but it could be with a C or an S. Endings are always the start of a new beginning. Move forward with courage. That is, again, that's reiterated throughout here because you have that, um, again, I spoke about, you know, they've been around the whole, gone up through the whole story of the tarot, and then they were, here we are at the full again. And what, what's in this card, Libra? The sun, the sun is shining. So you have sun multiple times, such a sunny reading, really is a sunny reading. And next you have, whoa, all right, serendipity. Oh, I like that one. This has to do with fate. So again, it's connected to, you for, to your fate, to your inner wisdom. It's the perfect time for that. The stars are aligned as everything comes together in perfect timing. The signs you are receiving are accurate in telling you to move forward. Move forward with this chariot, this full card. Move forward. All right. And expect positive and fortuitous outcomes with relationships and careers. A lot of shooting stars here. I don't know if you're going to maybe um, watch some stars or something. Maybe we have a, sh sh I think we have a shower coming up, star shower. Why I'm, I'm losing, losing my train of thought here. But, but there is going to be something like that in October where you can see lots of stars. It's, what is it? Well, I'm totally blanking. Sorry. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's see what else you have. Lovers, card 18. You're getting it all in this reading here, huh? There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. This doesn't actually, this, when I see the, I'm hearing Diane, when I see the lover's card, I actually think about, um, I just heard Michaela and Michael even. So, uh, what's this name? Astasha or something, Astasha. Astasha. What is this? Yeah, this is about also putting uh, fear aside. I'm getting another something here about putting fears aside. There's also a crispness, a crispness. I'm not sure what that means. Um, I deliver the message. not I don't really translate it necessarily or interpret it uh, directly. So uh, anyway, there's a lover's card for me always has to do with alignment. And it's like, does it really align with your true self? Not what others think. Does it, does it? Does it align with what you want, Libra? Celestial showers. There may be some celestial showers. That's what it was. Looking. It's okay to look for better work. Be discreet in your search. You need to be aligned with your life purpose to fully be satisfied. Again, it's coming through here. It's totally coming through. And next, freedom. Mm. Somebody has a purple feather, something about purple feather. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. This one they want. Wish come true. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm hearing Devin as well. And De Demonte, Demont or Delvin or um, the, uh, I know Del Monte is like a company, but it's, um, there's a name like DeMonte or some, there's a name coming in. I'm also getting like a Calvin or Calvin. There's something about that. Uh, this could be, okay, so the wish come true, your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It is just what you need. I'm also hearing something about whiskers. Something about possibly adopting somebody or you had a pet that was white as well. So there's a, a few clues as to, how that may resonate for you. Uh, next we have hematite is also coming up right now for you. Hematite. So that's, um, this is actually hematite right here. It's sort of a silvery, uh, uh, blackish, it's darkish gray kind of thing, uh, metallic. And that actually is really good for grounding as well. So just like with the obsidian, you know, the, oh, so the obsidian comes in many colors, but Say you're dealing with just black, regular black obsidian. These are all very grounding stones. These also will protect from any sort of 
uh, you know, negative energy, but they do absorb energy. So you're going to want to make sure that you're cleansing your stones and uh, minerals and um, make sure you're looking that up to see how to do that. There are various ways. All right. And we have Komodo dragon. I am getting that you're uh, ready for the next phase, whatever it is, because you've done a lot of releasing. All right. And, and I feel as though you've actually realized that you're, as far as karma goes, you're good. Like maybe you have forgiven yourself for something like you, you maybe you're realizing that you actually really do deserve the, all the wonderful things life has to offer. Maybe you need to just hear that. Maybe people don't tell you that. I don't know, but so, um, focused intention here, earth star chakra. And we were just talking about, um, about the, uh, gra being grounded, you know, earth star chakra. So that's, it's keeping your eyes on target. Don't let anything distract you. Being grounded and you create what you focus on. Right back to that chariot. Remember the first tarot card we pulled? This is the card of focus and determination. And again, success. Now this card was sticking to my elbow. Friendship. I need a, a friend needs your help, your kindness, and ex excellent counseling skills. Oh, you'll be able to help put them back on track with your excellent counseling skills. Now, I just want to remind you, Libra, though. I know as Libras, sometimes we can be the ultimate like counselor, giver, peacekeeper, all that. We can be a lot of different things. But what I do want to remind you too, is we don't always have to say yes. Just because we can help doesn't mean we have to every time. It can be kind of exhausting to do that. Um, so take on, you know, what you feel you can handle while also still pursuing what makes you happy, what makes you thrive, what, what, what um, balances you and replenishes you. Angel numbers for you, Libra, 313, sign of optimism. Again, back to the optimism here with the sun and the fool and all that. Embrace the positive change coming as well as 1616, a sign of willpower, right back to that chariot. Focus on strengths and determination. And last one for this one, 909, <laughs> sign of good luck. So things are about to change in a positive way. Libra, that's what I have for you. Please do hit consider subscribing. Tap that like button so I get a nice blue thumbs up. I'd appreciate it so much. And um, have a wonderful week.